Okay, this is the beginning. The beginning of an epic project. Atticus is gonna help me out. Can we already started him? making it. Evie's gonna help me too. We drew up our designs, we ordered the parts, got a bunch of lily paddy textiles. Time to get started. Okay, step one to make sewing easier, you get a little frame for like cross stitching. So we installed our battery, made sure that we have power. Take a look at this, sure enough. Just to test that we've got power running to it, it's able to light up our LED. So we got power. That's the first step. Now let's test to see if we can make it do a basic program. Okay, we already hooked up power. We figured out how to get the battery working. We tried making the internal LED flash. Now we've done some basic stitching here. We took our bank of LEDs and we stitched all the positives together. We ran all the negatives to the ground. And we've got a basic program running with all these. From each port in the sweater that we make, we're gonna have about five LEDs. They're all gonna be the same type, so they'll all have the same current drop across them. These have slightly different voltages, so they're drawing slightly different voltages or currents, but it clearly is enough to show that this is going to work fine. I was afraid it wouldn't be bright enough with the 40 milliamps that each port can put out, but seems to not be a problem right now. Okay, I've got the, uh, got the accelerometer stitched in now. That's connected to the ground of the LED bank. We've got power from the thermine battery. And now we've got a simple program written where it's going to monitor the Y component of the accelerometer in real time. And as we lift it, if we lift it above a certain threshold angle that we've programmed in, it's going to start to flash. All right. So I've got to tilt it up, and that's the trigger for it to flash. When I lower it down again, it's off. And it's running in real time, all powered by the lithium battery right now. Okay, check it out. In the background, we have pulsating. We'll have a bunch of these all over the front of the sweater. This will be like the stars of the galaxy all pulsing. I'll have only white ones though. And then, when the arm gets raised up over a certain degree, down the sleeve, you'll have a bunch of things blasting. They won't all be together, they'll go in a row like do 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 do. But for now, I've got them just wired together. So, we have a proof of concept. It works on this t shirt with some crappy sewing. So now we need a sweatshirt, and we need to do some legit sewing, and it's going to be sweet. Okay, step one, now that we got the code working and we did a prototype, we got a nice new sweater. We're going to have the Death Star right here. So we got some nice fabric for the Death Star. Got a whole bunch of grays to look at. We're kind of leaning towards this one, because it's got this cool grid pattern. By the time you make a skull out of that, put some black thread on it, it's gonna look like a sweet Death Star. Okay, we've got the sweater, we've got a potential Death Star laid on there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off for right now. We're just gonna make this thing, sew it on, and we're gonna do all the contacts, we're gonna make all these connections, right? Make all these connections first. And then when all that's done, there's going to have a ton of wires coming off it. We'll cover that up with this thing, and we're just going to fuse that on. Okay, so to sew this, we think these sleeves, since we're going to do a kind of complex pattern, they're going to be easier to sew if we just unstitch it. So use your handy-dandy unstitcher tool. It's a seam ripper. We're going to rip those seams. <laughs> Okay, what we've decided to do first is we're going to holster the battery down here. So this we're going to stitch a little pocket for it. This thing will sit right like there, which will allow us to wire into the positive and negative lines. I've gone through and stitched in, or I've, I've drawn in red and black lines to represent where the positive and negative leads are going to go to power the accelerometer on either sleeve, as well as the, the lines for the LEDs. Yeah.
So we drew some patterns down and got an idea of where we want the thread to go. We're putting down the negative lines first, and the conductive thread is in the bobbin, so it's showing up on the inside of the shirt. And on the outside, we've got a nice dark thread that you can't even see. It's basically invisible up here, so you can't, can't see, even see, see where you put it down. It. Now, as you're sewing, you're going to need to make sure that your positives and your negatives aren't getting crossed or you're going to short circuit your thing. So for example, here we wanted this line to go through but it had to jump over another one. So we put down some hot glue and some felt. When I touch it over here, I have contact, right? But that's not shorting over here. It's still over one. So I've got contact where I need it to be. And I've got it short, uh, and I've got no contact where I don't need it to be. You need to test to make sure that these lines aren't shorting on one another. In this case, this line here was shorting with this line at this point. So I made a cut here, and I'm going to bypass it and come over, and I'm going to reconnect it there to fix the short. Now that we have the lines running on the inside, I decided it would be easier if I went ahead and I hot glued these into place with a hot glue gun. So these are now in place. I've got them on both sides, running up and all the way down. I need to do the same on that arm over here. Okay, now that we've got it wired, what we want to do you want to test to see if it has connectivity. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to hold it in the pin number uh, one right there. And I'm going to test it against. I'm going to test to see if it's connecting. So right here, it should be not connecting. And sure enough, the dial is still at overload. Right? Same over here. Say, however, on this one where it should be connecting, it's reading a value. Over here, it's not. Nothing. 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 Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, the copper wire is not the worst thing ever. It works. You can send it down there and sort of bundle as you go. It's not ideal, but it'll work okay. It's actually kind of nice to solder onto things. It holds pretty well. I made one big common wire here so I can put all my grounded wires to it. Okay, with the arms done, Right? These need to be sewed in still. But the arms are both done. Now we can turn our attention to the middle, right? So I hot glued a bunch of these things down, and I've got them twinkling in and out of phase with one another. So some go dim, others go bright. I need to finish these ones, right? I'm using the PWM pins over here. So this is pin uh, number 10, 9, six and five. Those are the four PW pins uh, that I'm using for this. And by tomorrow night, this thing should be done. Okay, so in its current form, it's working. We've got four different sets of lights on the front, which are like the stars twinkling. I still need to put the Death Star on here. And if I raise my arm, I get these things to pulse. Two of the bands of LEDs still need to be sewed on. And over here, if I do the same thing, these also go. And two need to be connected still. These ones need to be connected to the ports, but you can't do that while you're loading the program onto it. If you have both up, they both go one after another. If they're both down and normal, neither one goes. And these things go back to twinkling.
The final touches on the sweater was to add the Death Star, which I drew on this fabric that sort of had a grid-like pattern to it. I made sure to leave the opening for the, uh, the blaster to be where the Arduino sits. And now, it looked kind of like it's blasting lasers when you lift this arm up, which is pretty darn sweet. Okay, after making all the corrections, we have the final product. The middle has twinkles. You've got the Death Star with the lily pad in the middle. I fixed everything. It's a little bit wrinkled up because the tape inside. And when you grab these, lift those up, synchronized. They both now light up in a synchronized manner until you let them down. Okay, bub, dejalos. And when you let them down, they stop. Thanks, bub.